Uh, first, we have a lady here, it seems. <laughs> uh, well, right now I want to talk about a little bit about telecom uh, cabinet cooling. Um, we have several projects dated before and uh, we have some knowledge in this area. Uh, well, a uh, typical telecom cabinet, the cooling could have used several ways. First, use the fan system. Fan system is the cheaper way. But there are several things we should be careful. First, the fan system. Uh, you cannot expect that uh, the cooling can make the temperature too low. Because, for example, outside is 40 degrees centigrade. And normally, you can make inside 37, 38 something. You know. There's not a big difference. So if the fan system, the most of the usage is to make the temperature very near to the, to the, to the, to the outside. You know. On the other hand, if, if inside you have a very big heat generations, the inside cabinet could be 42 and the outside is 40, it's very normal. Uh, if the, the inside, the, the temperature is too high compared with the outside, then your design of the fan system capacity is not enough. There's another thing you should be careful that the fan system is a non-linear load. Consider for for how to say consider the the, 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 the power system the non-linear load assist, uh, kind of a system that when you turn on the whole system uh, it will give you a peak of the current which if you don't design your power system very well or your your rectifier or your UPS system then the, the design very well uh, it will you will make your system go to protection mode. You know, we 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 had this had this kind of experience before. So if your UPS system rectifies is is not uh, designed for this kind of scenario, you should be careful because uh, you have to how do I say you have to provide a more rated power than what you need. What which I mean is AC AC fan system. Okay. So uh, for fans cooling, you better use the DC fan system. Don't use AC. It will bring a lot of problem. Second is the air conditioner. Uh, air conditioner is a very good uh, uh, way to cool, cool down the system quickly. But it has its limitations. First, it's, it's consume more power. right? And second, you have to be very, very careful that the telecom cabinet, if you purchase, not purchase from as you purchase from some provider from China, you must be you must understand that the way of thinking from Chinese provider and the the, the way of thinking from your real side is different. In China, most of the cabinet system uh, provider they think that uh, when you cut off the system, you can uh, how say your 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 air conditioner that doesn't have to work. So when you cut off the system, your your air conditioner is done. You know and your 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 inside equipment is working so which i think this is this is totally wrong because if it is around very long time if the inside of the equipment will make the cabinet extremely hot right so this should this part you should pay attention and mention to your to to the providers or if if you mention to us we our understanding is same as you yours because we only do the overseas market project uh, on the other hand, the air conditioner, there's a limitation of the rated power is too high. So for solar system, solar side, it's not a good, good solution for it. Uh, in solar system, every watt matters. Um, then another thing is, air conditioner has, has two types, AC and the DC. Still, I suggest DC because AC, again, it's nonlinear load. This nonlinear load will cause the system shut down in protection model because it, when you turn on the system it has a peak current you know um, then there's a heat exchanger heat exchanger is kind of uh, devices between the air conditioner and the fan system uh, it's working more efficiently than the fan system but it's not that strong as the as the uh, air conditioner it's a balance uh, again it also has a nonlinear a uh, lot of things. So again, I still suggest that DC system. So back again. So telecom cabinet. Always, I want to ask why we use the AC system. We can. We should not use AC system. 
you see when you use AC system you will face the problem like uh, the, the non-linear load things second is you make uh, AC system the UPS system is bigger occupy more space and then you know every device is AC the, when they when your router receive AC have to change to DC again right which is not efficient so in the end the topic is telecom cabinet don't use AC why, why don't you use DC right? uh, but Telecom cabinet is telecom cabinet. Still, this this way of cooling is not very efficient. So that's why we, we don't like this kind of a cooling cooling system. No, what we do with our system, we try to make it natural heat dissipation as possible as we can.